Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying to remove my colour with a colour remover called Colour Before. Um, I've never tried anything like this before, but this is a mess. It was meant to be chilli chocolate, I think, and it just looks black. Now, it's a semi-permanent colour, so I was kind of hoping that it would wash out, but it hasn't, and that's been two months now. And it could be because I missed spots the first time I did it, so I dyed over it straight after again. So I don't know if it's just acting like there's two layers on there and that's why it's maybe taking longer than I hoped. But I can't live with this any longer. I have to tie my hair up just to go out of the house. And then I've got these bits at the top, these roots, and now that's not where it's grown out. That's actually where I've put on what Pinterest says is a good idea, which is clarifying shampoo and vitamin C tablets. So I did that a couple of weeks ago and it seemed to pull out quite a lot of the dye, but it pulled it all from the top. And I have read since that that's kind of a common thing that happens. So not the best thing to do, but here we are here trying out something new. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. From about here down is where I used to dye my hair blonde and it's grown out. And then I had a permanent hair dye and that's probably grown out from about here down. And that was brown, which was to cover the blonde up. And that brown was pretty close to my natural colour, which I think is this. I think that's what my natural colour is. And then from here down should be my natural colour, but it has had this semi-permanent dye on it and it's had one other different coloured semi-permanent dye, which mostly washed out before I started doing this. So it could turn out anyway. I've, I've watched a lot, a lot, a lot of videos and they all turn out slightly different and I think it just depends on how your hair is before you start. So it's kind of like an experiment no matter what you do. So we'll see. Things I've done to prepare. I have done the patch test, I've done the strand test and it said in the instructions to wash your hair twice with clarifying shampoo. So I used Pantene clarifying shampoo and I did what it said, washed it twice, I did that yesterday and we're here today ready to go. I've got all the stuff set out in front of me, I've got brushes, I've got clips. In the box I have got the remover part B, activator part A, buffer part C, conditioner, instructions and gloves. The first thing I'm going to do is separate my hair into four sections just to make it easier. I'm just going to use a metal tail comb but I'm going to, once I've done this, I'm going to put it away so that I don't use the metal near the colour because that is a bad thing to do. So I'll have to make sure that that's well out of reach. So we'll separate that into two and then separate each one of them into I suppose this could just be quite rough laid on not that important okay So I have got this very stylish hairstyle going on here and I'm just going to go on and mix up the this bottle remover and this bottle activator. I'm going to put the top on and give it a shake. This stuff stinks. It's already started to stink just as soon as you mix it up and it's awful. It's like rotten eggs. Horrible. Okay. Let me just check the instructions and make sure I'm doing everything right. Okay, keep shaking. We're 
are we? Mixing. A quart the entire contents of the activator. Shake for 60 seconds. Apply with a tint bowl. This could be more or less than 60 seconds. I'm not counting, never mind. Application. Areas of the hair that you want colours corrected. Squeeze small amounts into the product, into the glove. La la la. Okay. I think we're sorted. Gloves on and let's go. I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking. I can't stop. I need to make sure it's rightly shook before I go. I could be shaking for about five minutes before I'm happy with it. So for the way it goes when I do hair stuff. Thorough. I'm very thorough. Okay. Gloves. Let's do this. Shakes more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top bits first. I'm going to start with that top bit over to this top bit, pin them back up, and then go on to the bottom bits because top bits are more important. I kind of want them to process longer. And well, that's the only reason I'm doing it in that order. So, here we go. Oh, it makes a hissing noise when you take off the top. Right, kind of comes out slowly. I don't know, it's, it's not thick, it's running off pretty quick, but it comes out slowly. I'm just going to rub it onto the glove and go for it. Because I've got these bits where the hair's already had the colour removed by the Pinterest method. I'm not going to go too far up to the roots because I'm not too worried about them. This stuff is really hard to squeeze out. Concentrating face. Right. Oh, stinks so bad. Jeez, I'm going to take the lid off. That's that's coming out quick. That should speed up the process. Okay, it's starting to smell a bit like sick now. Ugh. Yuck. It's not even barely wet in my hair. Like I want it saturated. <laughs> Don't want it damp. So I'm back again after doing all the putting on of the stuff and I've actually waited for almost the whole time. I've got about seven minutes left. Since I've been gone, what I've done is covered my hair in the stuff as I was doing before in the haphazard kind of way. And then I've used a second bottle of the stuff just to make sure I covered everything. Pretty much covered the whole thing with the one bottle, but just to be sure, I used the second bottle because I don't know, it wasn't quite enough that I could be sure that I got everything. So, whacked on a second bottle too. Um, and then I've covered it up in cling film and I have blow dried it for a little while, maybe five minutes, put the towel on, and then I think halfway through, I maybe put the dryer on for about a minute. I kind of did that on a medium heat and concentrated on the kind of top area rather than the roots because the roots will get heat from my head. So as far as the smell goes that kind of went away while I had it all wrapped up so that's not been as bad as I thought it would be from watching other videos. So that's been quite nice. What else have I done? I charged my camera battery obviously and I've tidied up my kitchen because this stuff gets everywhere. I am so glad that I did it somewhere that it's okay to get a mess. Do not do this near a carpet, whatever you do, because 
it just gets everywhere. Whether it would stain or not, I don't know because it doesn't have a colour. It's hard to tell, but I don't know, it's up to yourself, but it makes a mess anyway. So, I've got six minutes left. So I'll maybe just leave it for a wee minute longer and then I'll come back, show you what it looks like without the cling film and stuff before I go wash it out. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so that's me got less than a minute left. So I'm just gonna quickly tell you what I'm go gonna do next. So I'm gonna have to rinse it for five to 10 minutes. And it says, more the longer and thicker your hair, the more you should rinse. And then you use half the buffering stuff. And um, what does it say? Lather it up and leave for a minute. There we go, take this stuff off. It says, okay, half of it, lather it, one minute, then rinse again for five minutes. Okie doke. And then finally apply part C of the buffer. Again, the rest you've got. Rinse as you would a regular shampoo. La di da di da. And then do the conditioner, half the conditioner, rinse, half the conditioner. And you'll leave it three minutes in between each time. Okay, let's take this stuff off. Moment of truth, you can see the mirror. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know. Let's rinse it and see. Freaking out. Freaking out just a little bit. I will see you soon. Okay, so I've been and I've rinsed it out. That took forever. I was in there for about half an hour with my head over the sink, over the bath, and my back kills. It felt like I was in there for about three hours, and I don't think it's done anything. I thought it was working, right? And it looked like it was getting brown, rather than that blacky colour. And then when I rinsed it off, and start, it was when I put in the buffer, it started to get really dark, and I thought, Oh God, it's gone back to dark again. So I don't, I don't know what the buffer does. But it seemed to, I don't know, it got darker again. You can still see the separation within the top. You can see that it's lighter on top. A little bit less dark here. And then if you look at the bottoms, you get this clip out. I would say they're still looking pretty black. I'm gonna dry it. We'll see how it turns out when it's dry. I've got a feeling this is quite likely to be a fail. We'll see. Okay, I've dried it. I still don't think it's a massive difference, but I think it probably has done something. I don't know if you can even see it on camera. It is really subtle, but I think it's maybe edging slightly more towards brown now, whereas before it was edging towards black. I don't know. I'll put in a before and after picture. You can make up your own mind whether you think it's worth it or not. <laughs> 